Hey, hi. Hi, good day to you all. Right, um, oh, it's gonna rain soon. Right, so welcome to another uh, Review Thursday where we actually do um, property reviews and we upload to our YouTube channel. So if you're watching this for the first time, you know, please do hit the subscribe button so that um, you can get updated every time we upload our new uh, latest videos in terms of uh, a property review or site visits. And Alright, today this uh, development that I'm going to talk about, all right, uh, in fact it hasn't been officially launched yet uh, but right now, um, you know, private sales is going on, the, there's no sales gallery at all, it will only be ready next year, right, but, but I'd like to share this with you because uh, three reasons why, right? number one, this is done by a public listed developer, okay, and the uh, other, number two, it is uh, it's an interesting development because it's only less than five minutes walk away from Honor BTS. So the distance between the project and the and the BTS is definitely uh, considered walkable distance. Uh, so it will be rather easy for you to rent out, or even if it's for own stay, that would be uh, um, a good consideration, right? And um, the third point, right, being that um, this development, the entry price is less than four million baht, uh, four million Thai baht, right? So for for people with a budget about three point four, three point five, three point six million uh, Thai baht, right? This is definitely something that you can consider. I would say that for this price range, this development is probably one of the better ones out there uh, in the market right now. So if you'd like to find out more, um, you know, carry on watching and let's get get right into it, right? Hey guys, so. Right, this is the name of the development that I'm going to be talking about today, Chambers Honored Station. Right, uh, and in case you're wondering who's a developer, right, just let me share with you a bit more about the uh, background of the developer first. Um, okay, the developer is actually this, uh, okay, maybe just let me resize, all right, is this uh, the, a company called SES, right, so you can actually, this is actually their official um, uh, website you can actually go to www.sesat.com to uh, find out more about what they do all right uh, or what they have done um, more importantly I just want to show you this page I just I mentioned that they are public listed developer so there you have it they do not actually um, do as many developments as uh, maybe the more common names like Sensi or Ananda oh but they're definitely no no small player All right but also please note that uh, SESET is not the same as SE Global another similar name company that we have in Singapore right but nevertheless they uh, they do a lot of boutique developments and you can see from this uh, website of theirs they have single house townhouse so so just feel free to surf around and check them out right uh, because we always say that the background of the developer is very important and these are some of the developments that they have done. Some are completed, some are not. Um, so uh, I think recently, you know, uh, one of some of the more uh, one of the projects that got a lot more exposure is this development called Twenty Eight Chit Long. But uh, this is uh, this is a rather high end development because of the location and and also um, the way they position it. So I think not wrong one unit probably starts you from at least about 14 12 to 14 million Thai baht right uh, and then uh, previously they also have this project called Salading One right so uh, Centric is another of their series that uh, that was very popular so one of the good example is uh, if you if you come up from Hui Huang MRT station you will see this project called uh, Centric Hui Huang station all right so that that is yeah uh, by SES and that project uh, the occupancy rate is very very high right and then you have your chambers so you realize that uh, their chambers so this this chambers honor will be the third installment of the chamber series and uh, if you if you just look at the picture you realize that this chambers name is assigned to their uh, low rise low density development right so same thing for um, uh, chambers on honor uh, this is on a, a smaller road so uh, we have explained before so so by default you know there's only uh, so high the developer can build so so that's why you know they classify under the chamber series right um let me show you where the location is right so same thing let me go back to our invest bangkok property.com website and if you were to scroll it down okay then uh let's okay you can just uh i i, I pre-selected just now i move it right so if you go to on loop station uh you will see that we have marked out these plot with a blue um 
uh, pin, right, which means uncompleted development. Okay, if you click on it, all right, that would come up chambers on node station. So if you want to find out more, uh, you can actually go to this link, all right, and uh, you can read more about it. All right, so if you are after watching this video, you are keen to find out more about this development, you know, then just feel free to uh, fill out this form. Uh, we'll get in touch. Uh, you can get from us the availability list or even the brochure. All right. Okay, so back to this uh, uh, this project. All right, so you can see that the distance from, from the BTS and the actual plot is actually, uh, I measure using Google Maps, it's like 200. Uh, 230 meters, so 250 meters there about. So, so there's really like three to five minutes walk. Definitely, uh, walkable. And some of the um, landmarks around this area would be you have this. Uh, the moment you come out from Onut Station, right? Or actually, on both sides are uh, shopping malls, right? So on on one side you have this huge. You see this huge plot of land. That's just a Tesco, uh, giant, uh, supermarket. That basically have like almost anything that you need, right? So this is giant load, uh, Tesco Lotus over here. I think there's McDonald's and something over here. And on this side, okay, um, you can see all these, uh, all these literaries are actually in this building, uh, a brand new, uh, uh, shopping mall called the Century Movie Plaza. So, so obviously there's a movie theater at the top, right? Um, I remember that it was open. I think earlier this year, right? It was completed and ready about first early second quarter this year. So uh, it's it's a pretty brand new mall. So if you go inside, there's really a lot of F and B uh, uh outlets. You see things like what cafe, Amazon, Starbucks, Mister Donut, McDonald. Uh, then there's a few uh, Japanese uh, fast food as well, and then you have some basic amenities like spectacle shops, boots. Uh, so and so forth, right? Uh, when I was there, it wasn't fully open yet, so I believe it should be fully open now. If I'm not wrong, inside there's also a top supermarket, right? So in terms of uh, people staying around Onu, right? Then you have these two, and and what is interesting about Onu is if you were to just get off the station and just walk along um, the streets, uh, it's actually full of shop houses with a lot of uh, uh, cheap and and good food. Uh, around the area and just selling local Thai food and, and, and you know you have whatnot. So just feel free to explore the place. Uh, when you have the chance you will realize that Onu is fast becoming a popular residential area. Right. So you have these two community malls and then you have a bit of uh, uh, food F and B all over the places and then you have shops. It's a very, very residential feel to it and then uh, it will be definitely less congested versus going somewhere nearer to town like Tong or, or maybe going right into Aso, right? But yet, um, if you guys are familiar, on Road Station is only uh, two stations away from Ekamai, three stations away from Tong and five stations away from Aso. So it is really not that far away. So from on Road, there's this station called Brakanon and then there you have it, you're already at Ekamai and Tong already. So um, if you get on the train at Onu, I think it will only take you less than five minutes for you to hit Tonglo. So this these are all, you know, staying along the green, light green BTS line has its advantages. And that's why so many expatriates or even the Thais like prefer to stay here because really all the uh, lifestyle amenities are in this area, right? And uh, another thing worth mentioning is I there's a pretty well-known international school called Wells International School. All right, which is uh nearby on road station. All right, so that's one of the more notable um uh, interna international school. All right, and then you have your Bangkok prep. Uh, if not, then just go towards Tong Then you have basically all the things there. Right, but but um of course one of the main reason why you know people are moving to to uh on road and probably the reason why you are looking at this video. I think one of the reason is because uh I have mentioned earlier that the entry point for this project will start still back at about 3.5 to 4 million uh whereas if you if you were to go to ekamai or even tong law all right uh to get something at within 300 meters walking distance brand new to the bts i seriously doubt you can get at this price point so so that is the reason why uh, a lot of people are now considering on as an alternative 
if they find the prices of Tongro and Akamai out of their reach, or perhaps you are not prepared to spend so much for your first investment. All right. So this is the distance. Um, you can see from this map here. Uh, okay, this is the actual plot. So the distance is two hundred thirty meters. This is this is taken uh, entirely from uh, Google Maps. So this is correct. I I verified myself, and it also have a uh, pretty easy access to the highways that are around. All right. Uh, in case you're wondering what's around here. Okay, once you get off the station, this is a this a condo, two blocks of condo. This is as well. This is a condominium. All right, and then here is a is a some sort of a government uh, private office building. And then right now, immediately beside, be, beside chambers on on this side, this is a one level landed house. Okay. Uh, of course, I cannot say for sure. You know, it will be there forever. But for now, it's a one level landed house. And on the other side, there's another development, another condo, and across you, these are all landed houses at the moment. All right, so this is on soil eighty one. Okay, that's the uh, location of the project. Okay, let me just now, uh, let us now go into the uh, development uh, details. All right, so I'll just run through uh, the the highlights of the development. Okay, so I think we've talked about that. Right, so so once you come out, this will be the main Sukhumvit Road, and um, yep, and and you will be on the direction towards uh, uh, this direction will be heading towards town, right? Okay, so uh, so you know they they're just showing you there's all this stuff, so I I just skip, all right? You can actually go to our map uh at investmentcorporate.com and just play around, and you can see. All the amenities that are around the area. Okay, this is the facade of the development. Okay, some basic fact. Okay, let me move myself down. All right, basic fact. So here's a developer, SES at Co. Location is over here, 230 meters. All right, so low rise, three buildings, eight floors on each building each. So you have your A, B, and C, a total of 487 units. Uh, okay, pretty okay, you know. Um, uh, parking lots. 174 okay it is common if you are if you are seeing this for the first time usually especially the nearer it is to the bts uh, they will actually do a lower ratio of units to parking lots and most of the time a lot of them are actually tenants or uh, people are, are paying the extra rent to stay near to the bts the the reason is because they do not want to drive so so that is so far you know we have seen it's uh, pretty okay uh, uh it's not really of an issue so far all right um construction okay e uh, eia has approved and then there's uh kind of like a we'll start construction and the estimated dop will be 2020 so that will be about uh two to three years from now all right um so you have your facilities all right all this uh pretty basic stuff courtyard library swimming pool uh fitness room okay um Okay, let's look at the uh, the site. Okay, I'm gonna shift back here. Okay, this is how the plot. So the plot is elongated. Okay, um, this is the main road. So just now, just to give you an idea again, here on this side is the landed houses. Here is a, uh, a condo next door, and across the road, these are currently landed houses. But if you if you just try to imagine you know, how the way this plot is, uh, most of the units. Well, you have units facing on all directions or, or even inwards, so it's really up to you to choose. So three blocks, this is block A, block B, and block C. Okay, um, interestingly, okay, this project is now under pre-sales, okay? So there's no show flat, uh, it's purely buying based off plan, and uh, whether you're comfortable with the location, whether you're com comfortable with the developer. And for that, only Tower A is for sale, all right? Uh, uh, you can always wait for B and C, but um, you know if you understand how they work, right? Usually, once this is done, then they may, depending on how responses, they may raise the price for B and C. All right. So uh, and obviously you realize that block C is the one with the pool view. Uh, so they left the best for the last, right? So um, do not ask us for block B and C at the moment because there's really no availability and we do not have access. The developer has not released any of B and C, uh, and they have no intention to do so at the moment. All right. 
Okay, so uh, just let's just run through some facade of the development. Okay, so the entrance from eighty one. Uh, okay, then once you come in, uh, this is the main lobby on near the entrance, double volume main lobby. Okay, there is a shop. Okay, that they have located. Probably gonna run a convenience store in there. Okay, so this is building A of the condo, this is the lobby, there's a smart locker, mail room, okay, right, okay, and then um, for building A, later we'll zoom in the site plan, uh, for units facing inwards, you'll be looking towards the courtyard or the garden, all right, so uh, some of you who prefer uh, to have no surprises in the future, then you can uh, just opt for those units who are looking inwards, right, because uh, chances are you will not change. Uh, much right okay so you have your library you have a library a reading room if you want to call it uh, basement garden parking okay this is this is on to building b already that's another step garden and then on for you know just as i mentioned for block c that's where the swimming pool will be and you get a pool view okay all right and the uh, fitness room will also be here nearer to the block C side okay with a pool view okay now let's just look at the floor plan so um, a bit of orientation north south east west okay so okay uh, all these small small dotted dotted are the uh, car park lots all right, so 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 it is not that bad because there, there is a bit of a, because of the of the allocation of space for the car park lot right so you have to have a bit of setback so the distance between the building and the next door development that will surely be a bit of a more comfortable distance away all right okay so so in for today's uh, uh video i only be talking about building a uh, because there's really no info for b and c at the moment All right so this is how the first floor looks like juristic office library lobby all right so notice a um okay let me just go to the fourth and uh okay this is first floor fourth fourth to so the units will actually start on the second floor so all the way to the eighth floor right uh so depends depending on what's available um uh, you know, then you, you have to choose your units accordingly. All right. Um, so all these light um, yellow uh, units are the uh, about 26 square meters. These are the normal atypical one bedroom. Okay. And that's uh, so for these few units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 units on every floor, uh, you will face the courtyard should you choose any of these units right and uh, the gray ones are the slightly larger um, units right the one plus unit so it's about 35 square meter and they're quite re limited uh. there's only two units on every floor all right um the leaf lobby is here and this gp is the uh so-called the, the common garbage area so so uh so you know if we for, for daily if you want to get rid of your um, uh, trash and all these things that's, that's the place where you bring it to all right okay so just briefly let me run through the layout okay so this is how a one bedroom look like very squarish very typical uh, but it is a proper one bedroom as you can see here so what's interesting is um, the moment you come in here uh, instead of the usual you know kitchen that we always see in this case this time round you come into a living room okay come into a living room and then you have this extra space here uh, maybe to put your fridge or something and that's only then after this part then then you know you have your kitchen and your little uh, yard for your washing machine right so the kitchen can be fully enclosed can be fully enclosed and so so can your bedroom this will be a sliding door okay so it can be uh uh you know you can actually close up the the, the room and then with uh with curtains and then uh you can, you can separate out the area or you can just open up then it become one big area as well the, the windows are like here all right so that's where the source of light will be coming in from okay this is how uh how it looks like if you were to come in through if assuming i'm standing at the door so i be looking in at the uh, 
living hall and then through to the bedroom and then there's this window here right for this project uh, the property will come fully furnished um, so it's a plus point as a free uh, for the full furniture package uh, do check with us right so this is another uh, point of view if now I'm standing at the window with the window behind me looking through the bed into the living hall that's that's the main door if you can just see through the reflections right <laughs> Okay, um, if you are looking for the slightly larger unit, the 35 square meters, this is the one bedroom plus, right? So same thing, coming through living hall first and then uh, uh, slightly larger, you realize that the kitchen is slightly larger, uh, that's where the fridge will also be inside uh, on your right that you can close up, okay? Come in and then you have your, this is the main master bedroom with the balcony, all right? And this area, they allow you the flexibility of also doing a sliding door, and then you can convert it to a you know a, a, like a study or a plus one uh, with a single bed, sofa bed, or if not, then you can just use it as an entire living hall with the windows here. You know, it's really entirely up to you. Okay, that's how it looks like coming in through the door. Okay, this is the living area, and then this is the plus one that that they separated with a, a glass panel and uh, this is the uh, this is if I step in through to after the living hall you know that's the slightly smaller room that they designed so from this picture they are telling you that you know you can make it into an extra bed a single bed if you wish to Okay, this is a view of the master bedroom. Behind me is the window looking in towards inside. All right, can put a double bed. Okay, so that's all the information that I have to share. Uh, and I believe these are enough information for you to um, uh, make a decision whether this is something right for you. We have already have had clients who uh, have booked units in this project. Uh, sales are ongoing in Singapore and Hong Kong as well. Um, just to give you an idea of the price, the uh, unit for the normal one bedroom, which is uh, 26 square meters, starts from about 3.3 million upwards. So depending on the facing and the uh, height level. All right? So that's about 3.3 uh, to slightly below 4, all right, there about. Um, well, in terms of the per square meter price, so we, if you work it out, you will only be about 125,000 uh, Thai baht per square meter. So for something that is uh, only about 250 meters away from the BTS, uh, I think, and and done by a reputable developer, th I think this is uh, definitely one of the better projects on my list at the moment. And uh, in terms of payment terms, uh, booking fee will be 100,000. And there about in the in the next thirty days you have to pay uh fifteen percent, right? And uh, after this fifteen percent, in another um one month or so, you have to come out with another ten percent. So that's total of twenty five. And there after the balance seventy five will be payable upon complete uh, completion in two thousand twenty. All right. So uh that's that's basically the the payment terms and I uh, also mentioned about the price already. All right. Okay, so um, if you're wondering um, if this project, you know, how is the rentability and what kind of rent can you expect from this development? Uh, let us just do a quick uh, comparison of the uh, developments that are existingly uh, around the area. So uh, maybe you can take a look at, uh, you know, with reference to Chambers or Honor, uh, you can take a look at this one. Ideal Mobi um, Sukhumvit, all right. So Ideal Mobi is a development by Ananda. So they have this range of developments. So just a quick search on the uh, uh, rent, uh, availability for rent. All right, so this project is about four years old, uh, completed in 2014, 935 units. All right, and uh, let's take a look. Just just run through the list, all right? Um, about 30 square meters, they're asking about 20,000. Slightly smaller one, 13, 15, all right, two bedroom, 30, uh, one bedroom, 50, 17. Okay, of course, uh, 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 something to, to measure a caveat. Uh, some of it, right, sometimes if it's uh, too good to be true, uh, it could be times where they are actually fishing for, for information, 
right? So the only way to um, really verify whether that's something really available that uh, you know you probably have to call up and, and ask them. You know, sometimes they are just lowballing a price to attract people to call in. Uh, uh, so that you know from there then they actually will capture the, the audience right but um just as a price guide uh even at uh condos at Prakanon, uh one bedroom monthly rent uh would be able to rent for about fifteen to twenty thousand Thai baht okay okay so fifteen to um yep thousand Thai baht and uh, just to give you a idea of uh, how it works right so so we will Okay, let's just let's not assume that you can rent it out for twenty. Let's just assume that you can only get fifteen thousand Thai baht per month. So fifteen thousand Thai baht per month. Uh, if I were to multiply with uh, twelve months, so you will get uh hundred eighty thousand Thai baht. So assuming your purchase price is uh say three point six million. Okay, let's just take a medium range three point six million, um, Thai baht. So your yield would be uh, pretty decent, five percent. Okay. So so even if you um, uh, if you want to do a bit of sensitivity analysis, let's just further reduce the rent to say uh, another say thirteen thousand. Okay. Uh, sorry, thirteen thousand instead of fifteen. Say you, you just want to you know get it out to a good tenant. You don't mind collecting uh, slightly lesser rent, right? So twelve. You will have a uh, eight. Um, sorry. So uh, thirteen thousand multiplied by twelve. So I have the six divided by three point six million. Four point three percent. So still okay, right? Because uh, we have always mentioned that a decent uh yield a uh, real yield range would be about four percent plus minus. And if you are buying something on the higher range, which is things like at uh, maybe Tong Law, then of course the yield will drop accordingly. But that's not not saying that it's no good. It's just a different game that you're playing. All right. Uh, um, uh, for people who are buying into Tong Law, they are buying into prime location. Uh, people buying into a uh, Planchi are buying with prime location. If you buy something that has a unique proposition, sometimes the yield might suffer a bit. All right. But in if you look at it at the full picture, it's only a little bit of money. But in the grand scheme of things, when you want to sell. Um, it will always be easier. All right. So, um, Chambers or not will not be categorized as a great A development. For 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 me, uh, this will probably be of a B B minus range. All right, because uh, it is a smaller scale development. Um, the facilities are okay. All right. Uh, not not like as fantastic as those that you can find in a full fledged condo, but saving grace is the low entry point. Uh, and uh, looking at or not, you know, it ha it has. It has a rather good rentability demand in this area, so that is why if you buy from SE Asset, uh, you get this project. Um, the quality is pretty decent. Uh, you should be able to attract uh, tenants uh, rather easily uh, in time to come when it TOP, right? Assuming that you know everything just uh, there's no external shocks happening to the market, All right? So um, yep. So that's it for for this session. Um. If you would like to uh, find out more, uh, you know you, you can contact us. Uh, I'll drop my contact details in the comments uh, in the description below. You can email us, you can WhatsApp us, or you can WeChat us, right? Uh, and uh, you no, know, we'll be happy to send you the information, latest updates on the units, on the brochure. And um, if you have any questions regarding this uh, project, please feel free to get in touch with us. Uh, chat with us. We'll be happy to to share with you more. Alright, so I'll see you next week at the next uh, condo review. Alright, so cheers. Thank you.